Welcome to the Las Vegas Crime Lab. Please enter your name. To begin your orientation with Grissom, click on Start beneath the first case on the left. Welcome to the CSI Crime Lab, Graveyard Shift. I'm Gil Grissom, and you must be the new intern. I know it's your first night, but we're short-handed and... Grissom. Yeah, Jim. We're just leaving. We've got a homicide. I know you've got good problem-solving skills or you wouldn't be here. You'll have to jump right in on this crime scene with me. John Webster said, Death hath a thousand doors to let out life. Let's find out which one our victim took. The Location tab at the bottom of the screen allows you to access various locations. To head to the crime scene, click on the Hotel location now. Good. Other crime scene locations will appear here as you uncover more places to visit. Three CSI locations are available on the right, but we'll visit those later. For now, we'll go directly to the hotel. First officer, fill us in. Let's see, manager got a call from a guest complaining about noise. He checked it out, found the TV going pretty loud, and this young lady here who didn't exactly need it turned up. No signs of forced entry. Manager's name is Bert Suston. He's pretty bent out of shape, but cooperative enough. You can question him if you want. Wish I had more for you. It's a start, and the crime scene will have plenty to say. Probably a good idea to start with our victim. Throughout the investigation, you will often want to examine things more closely. To look at the body, Move your pointer onto it and click. Excellent. Notice that when you passed the pointer over the body, it changed to a green arrow. This indicates that you can inspect something in greater detail. Look at that. There's some bruising on her neck. These marks strongly suggest she was strangled, likely a violent killing. Perhaps there's more we can learn. Notice the case file has been updated. This means that information has been added to a file on a suspect or victim. Click on the case file icon in the bottom right to look at it. Case files hold a summary of everything you've learned about the suspects and victims you meet. This is the file for our victim. To look at the case file for the hotel owner, click on the suspects tab. In addition to general information, Suspect case files contain categories for means, motive, and opportunity. You will often need at least one of these filled to be able to get suspects brought in for an interrogation, and all of them for an arrest. Now, click on the Close button. Let's take a closer look now at the bruising Grissom mentioned. Move the pointer over the victim's neck and click. Notice the Tools tab is automatically selected on the toolbar at the bottom of the screen when you're close enough to use one. Tools are categorized into either Collection or Detection Tools. Click on the Detection sub-tab. Rolling over any of the tools gives you a brief description of that tool. Find the UV light and double-click on it now. Double-clicking gets you a more detailed description of the tool. It looks like it might be the right one for this job. Click on Close. To use the UV light, click once to select it. Now, pass the UV light over the bruised area and click. Deep bruising patterns suggest a ligature, sexual ritual, or premeditated murder. To back out of this close-up view, move the pointer to the left or right-hand side of the screen and click. Notice the pointer changed to an exit arrow when you did that. Now, we'll look at collecting evidence. Click on the torn piece of cloth on the bed, left of the victim. Sometimes, you'll need to search for trace evidence before collecting an object. In this case, select the magnifying scope under the detection tools by clicking on it. Now pass the magnifying scope tool carefully over the cloth area to look for very small or hidden trace evidence. Looks like a tiny strand of hair. Whenever you find something with a magnifying scope, single-click on it for a closer look. Just a hair, right? A tiny thing and yet so very big. 
Note, it is not the victim's hair color. Someone else was here, in close proximity to the deceased. Select the tweezers by clicking on the Collection Tool sub-tab, then clicking on the tweezers. Now, move the tweezers over the hair and click. Evidence you collect is added to your evidence folder. To look at it, click on the Evidence tab now. Evidence is categorized here by type. The hair you just collected is a form of trace evidence. Click on the Trace Print sub-tab now. You can re-examine a piece of previously collected evidence here and review what you've learned about it. To re-examine the hair, double-click on the hair icon. These evidence descriptions will often update throughout the case, so check them regularly. Click on the Close button now. It would be a good idea to collect the torn sheet as well. We're a little too close right now, so exit this close-up view by clicking on either side of the screen. Good. Now under the Collection Tool tab, select the rubber gloves. Use the gloves to pick up the torn sheet by clicking on it. Torn from the bed? Easily strangle someone with that. This could very well be our murder weapon. Back out of this close-up view by clicking on either side of the screen. Click on the side of the screen one more time. Well done. Next, we should interview the hotel owner behind you. Pan around the crime scene by moving the cursor to the side of the screen, then click on the owner. Look, I know a girl died and it's a shame, but I got a business to run. Bird Sustin, I manage the hotel. What do you want to know? Questions will often be available for you to ask suspects and victims. The questions will vary depending on the evidence and information you've collected. To select a question, click it with your pointer. Showgirl on the strip. Nice enough. Never made no trouble. Kind of a regular here. Made a half dozen visits over the past couple of weeks. No credit cards. Strictly cash and carry. Capiche? If she had company tonight, I don't know who. My business is minding my own business. We only give keys out to registered guests. My, uh, patrons don't like to be dropped in on Catch My Drift. And I got the only master key. No idea. First name was Kylie. Last, uh, well, that kind of varied. Smith, Jones. Seems I remember her using a different name first time she filled out the checking card. Sure, I figured you'd want to see it. There's an address on it, too. Now, do you mind? Cops hanging around ain't all that helpful for my business. Exit the conversation by clicking on either side of the screen. Now let's look at that new bit of evidence. Click on Documents within your Evidence tab, then double-click the registration card. You have just found a new location. You'll want to visit it at some point. Close the pop-up. If you're stuck, you can ask for hints from your CSI partner. Find Grissom in the view above and click your pointer over him. What do you want me to look at? Getting help with evidence will update the evidence description with a hint about it. From the Evidence tab, click and drag any piece of evidence over Grissom. When you ask for a hint, you may learn something new or something you already know. However, all hints will count against you in your final performance evaluation. Click Close. Now, back out of this view by clicking on either side of the screen. That's the end of your training. The rest is up to you. You can process the crime scene further to find more clues, visit the CSI offices, or visit your new location. When you're ready to quit, hit the escape key on your keyboard. Good luck. This is an expensive bauble to leave behind. May rule out robbery as a likely motive. Initials KY engraved on it. This could help us establish Kylie's identity. Our killer may be leaving us a message. Try using a similar tool. 
In ancient Greece, families put a coin in the mouths of their late loved ones to pay the ferryman to cross the river Styx. Could be our killer is related to our victim and has a bent for mythology, or maybe this is a final insult. Since the TV was on, somebody probably used this recently. Maybe the killer. Let's find out. Maybe our killer needed to wash his hands of this crime. Let's take a closer look. Some kind of stain on the sink here. We should try to detect what it is. A blood stain pattern, trying to tell its story. Nice find. If there was a struggle here, then why no obvious blood on the Vic? We should swab it. We should definitely have Greg take a look at this in the lab. Let's check that TV for prints, too. Hotel room like this? We may have to sort through dozens, but the right one may be waiting. Hey, that's all I got to say right now. Come on in, and I'm glad to see you. We've been shorthanded on the night shift for too long. I'm Captain Jim Brass. Anything you need on the law enforcement side, I'm your new best friend. You want somebody brought in for questioning, need a warrant, an arrest? I'll make it happen. So what's up on the hotel killing? Oh, so you're the new pledge around the CSI frat house. How do you like the initiation so far? Look, I know what it's like to be thrown in the pool and told to swim. I'm here for you. Greg Sanders. Confidentially, I'm the guy who keeps this party hopping. Blood. With plenty of DNA for me to draw comparisons. Just a torn bedsheet. Nothing special about the fabric or the way it was torn. Sorry, can't do anything with that. Tough to get prints or anything useful off money. This is no exception. Came up blank. Sorry. Next to me, computer's your best buddy. It's hooked up to a number of search databases. Just drag the evidence onto either side of the computer and click search. To make comparisons, just drag evidence onto both sides and click compare. If you got anything, you'll find out right away. Our hotel owner doesn't exactly have a squeaky clean background, although 10 years can change a person. So, you're Grissom's latest victim, huh? Well, I'm in charge of the victims who aren't still walking around. Albert Robbins, welcome aboard. I'll do my best to answer your questions. How our Vic died, what the murder weapon was, maybe even the deceased's identity. And remember, I'm dealing with trace evidence you weren't even aware of at the crime scene, so don't be a stranger. When you need information about the body, just ask. Asphyxia due to strangulation. The hyoid bone just under the bruising on her neck was broken. Quick death, anyway. 
found traces of skin under three of her nails. Not a lot, but enough to indicate she may have been trying to fight off her assailant. You can take it with you. Ran a rape kit, too. Sexual activity, but no sign of assault. Fairly narrow ligature marks like these might indicate a rope or cord or even a twisted length of sheet was used. I don't know if you knew this already, but our victim had hepatitis C, found interferon in her system. Nothing else unusual, very healthy young woman otherwise. After death, a human body generally drops two degrees the first hour and another degree every hour after that, with a four hour give or take. Given the core temperature of the victim's liver and the ambient temp at the crime scene, I estimate she was killed between 11 and 11.30 p.m. There are petechiae in the victim's eyelids, tiny pinpoint hemorrhages caused when the blood backs up into the capillaries. But with an internal injury like this, you won't have much, if any, of the victim's blood at the scene. Any blood you find is more likely the killer's. Ms. Strickland? Jenny Strickland? Yes. Gil Grissom, Las Vegas Crime Lab. My assistant and I would like to ask you a few questions. Go ahead. Ms. Strickland, a young woman was killed tonight. Apparently she filled out the hotel's check-in card using your name and address. What? Mine? That's right. We believe her first name was Kylie. Do you know anyone by that name? Sorry, I don't know any Kylies. Anyone could have got my name and address out of the phone book. Oh. Oh my god. Is it Karen? It's not Karen who got killed, is it? Maybe we can answer your question, Miss Strickland, if you'll tell us about Karen. My best friend when I was in middle school, Karen Yardstrom. We took all our Christmas money and bought matching bracelets, inscribed our initials on them. Oh, wow. I haven't heard from Karen in years. She isn't the one who... That's a strong possibility. Oh, how terrible. Awful. Oh, we ran in different cliques, you know, in high school. Hers was kind of a rougher crowd, but I never thought, never dreamed... I'm sorry, Mr. Grissom. I need to go back inside now. I hope I've been helpful. You have. I'm sorry to bring you such sad news, Miss Strickland. Let's talk to Brass in his office, get him to track down Karen Yardstrom's real address. What can I do for you? Sure. Seems she lived in the Hamilton apartments. I'll send a unit to open it up for you. Yeah, I looked into our Vic's brilliant showbiz career, which consisted of one chorus line gig with a production that shut down a couple of weeks ago. Looks like Kylie kept things simple at home. Neat, orderly, almost compulsive. Sometimes a control freak away from home cuts loose, goes a little wild. prescription for interferon. It's used in treatment of hep C infections. Dated yesterday. Kylie may have just found out about her condition. There's prints, but they're smeared pretty badly. Receipts from different hotels, ordered chronologically. Hey, Kylie, it's your buddy Bert. Forget about me. Oh, you ain't slipped my mind. Not when you owe me three bills for that TV you trashed. Oh, that's of course you can think up another way to settle up, huh? You could do that. <laughs> Seems our hotel manager knew Kylie better than he was letting on. 
Let's bring this information to brass. Hundreds of years, investigators have examined correspondence and address books for clues. Today, that means checking out a victim's PC. Let's look at her calendar. Her last scheduled meeting was at 10 p.m. with one Devin Rogers at our hotel. Possible suspect. We'll need to talk to Brass to find Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Yes? Hey, good news. Found enough DNA for a profile, but comparing it to another sample is where the fun begins. Analyze the meds inside, and just like the label says, it's interferon. Looks like the pharmacy did their job. I was able to lift some latent prints from it, too. They look like partials. Devin, the last person in our victim's date book, has a criminal record. Some recent temper control problems. Let's file that in our suspicious folder. Need me for something? Okay, this clown lied to us about how well he knew the young woman. Sure, he has legit access to the room, but any way you slice it, I can find a judge who'll give us a warrant. Okay, just for a change of pace, let's try the truth this time. You got no right taking that tone. I'm cooperating, ain't I? I told you before, I got nothing to do with this mess. I suppose you never made a mistake, huh? I paid for my thrills. I'm a businessman now, strictly legit. So I knew the girl. Big friggin' whoop. A showgirl. Usually quiet, but she lost it last month. Went all rock act on me, busted up a TV. 300 big ones to replace that sucker. Kid keeps promising to pay me back and nothing. Hell, I wouldn't whack a kid over trivial crap like that. What'd he take me for? Nonetheless, Mr. Sustin, Kylie is dead. Murdered in your hotel. Listen, my place ain't the Ritz, okay? Get the odd rough crowd so I take my share of bumps and nicks. Comes with the territory. What's that, a warrant? What the hell is this? I didn't do anything to that poor kid. Take your sample and get out of my life already. Thanks, we will. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. What, this your first night, and I'm your guinea pig? Hey, go easy with that thing, will you? Yes? Okay, good. We've got a DNA reference sample from the hotel owner. This is begging for a comparison. So, I ran the hotel owner's sample against the blood swab from the bathroom. Well, we have a winner. Hotel owner's DNA matches the blood from the bathroom. Only since Mr. Sustin owns and operates the hotel, this may not mean much, if anything. 
Now, I knew you'd be asking for a comparison between the skin DNA and the hotel owners, so I went for it. But, no luck. It's not the same. Someone else left some obvious signs of their presence on your victim. Don't be afraid of the microscope. It's your friend, too. Want to look at something under it? Just drag any trace evidence onto either side of the lens. To compare two things, drag the second item onto the other available slot. If you find a match, your evidence and case files will update. Sweet, huh? Doesn't look like these hairs match. Yes? Ah, oh, yeah, well, you have something here. This rap sheet gives us plenty of excuse to talk to this charmer again. I'll have him hauled right in. Last rocket scientist to book that room busted the mirror. And guess who cut himself cleaning up the damn mess? I bled on the sink and the new mirror. Then I cleaned up after myself. After all that work, I turned on the tube and watched the news. Work for you? Yes? Yeah, the files tell an interesting story about her. Seems she reported a stalker just six months ago. I'd like to tell you we busted the bum, but I'd be lying. And my gut says it's no coincidence she's on a silver tray now. You say this Rogers was slotted to meet Kylie just before her murder? Don't need any more justification than that. We'll bring the boy right in. We appreciate you cooperating with us, Mr. Rogers. Cut the BS. You have a warrant. What do you want? Kylie. Oh yeah, sure. The showgirl. I know who you mean. Know her? How? We were just, you know, friendly acquaintances. We'd get together, hang out, party a little. <laughs> nice kid. Sweet. Not hard, like some of the dancers. Everybody liked her. Somebody didn't like her. She was murdered tonight. Kylie? Oh, no, not Kylie. What kind of sick creep would hurt a nice kid like... Hey, wait a minute. You're not... Now, you don't think I... No way. Never. I'm no saint, but I never killed no one. Check it out. Jeez, I don't really remember. You know how it is with social stuff. Two weeks, maybe? Yeah, I got a few cuts and stuff. Since when is that a crime? It isn't. But it might prove that you committed one. Well, I do now. And I ain't too happy about having to get myself checked, either. Yes? The devil's in the details, and it looks like we've implicated this devil. Yes? Partial print places him at the scene. Nice. On its own, that might not cut it, but add that to his name popping up so prominently on the Vic schedule? Oh yeah. Consider the warrant issued. All right, okay, I won't lie to you. I saw her. I saw her tonight. Where? Hotel, way down the strip. Champagne Hotel, I think. What for? I got a right to know what you want it for, don't I? I mean, I didn't kill her or anything. But why should I help you guys and trap me? Mr. Rogers, the DNA sample can help clear you. We're trying to eliminate suspects from our list. We have a warrant, sir. You can give it to us, or we can take it. Fine. Our intern here is going to swab some epithelial cells from your mouth and take a hair sample with tweezers. Couldn't you have been a bit gentler with that thing? Ow. Take it easy.
Yes? They look identical. Strong likelihood our Mr. Rogers was in that hotel room around the time of the killing. The DNA reference sample from Rogers, but the real story unfolds when I compare it against another sample. So I did a comparison. Tested the sink swab DNA with Rogers' sample? No luck. I guess that wasn't his blood in the sink. Now, I thought a comparison between the Rogers' blood DNA and the skin from the fingernails would make sense. The result of my sweat and tears? Jackpot! Mr. Devin Rogers co-starred in a scrappy little show with our victim. Yes? He's there as we speak. Go right in. It was? Oh, yeah, I can see that. She liked it rough. Clawed my arm just to get a rise. Now, tell me if this sounds familiar, Mr. Rogers. The day Kylie returned from getting her sobering diagnosis, she did the right thing. She called anyone that she'd had sexual contact with. You asked to meet her at the hotel to talk about it. But your anger came out when she arrived. Kylie scratched you, defending herself. So you forcibly tied her to the bedpost and blindfolded her. The walls in that hotel are paper thin, so you turned up the volume on the television using the remote, which you then pitched to the floor. You tore a strip from the bed sheet, which was when a hair from your head fell into the folds. Then you wrapped the sheet around the woman's throat and finished her off. Your revenge taken, you left, but not before leaving a little tip. Make up all the stories you want. They're bull. Start to finish. Find yourself some other sucker. In your mind, that young woman killed you. So you killed her. That ain't what happened. She was alive when I left her. I swear it. We'll let a jury decide that. But the evidence says otherwise. It never ends. You did a good job on this case. You found a suspect that meets the requirements for means, motive, and opportunity. That's all we can do. The rest we leave up to the district attorney. Now, let's do your evaluation. Good work. Only a few things you left unexamined. Try to be more thorough next time.